Elizabeth. Welcome back to Live Craft and Love. I hope everyone is having a fabulous weekend. I am filming this literally Sunday morning at 1 a.m. Um, this is the only time I get to film. My little one goes to sleep really late and I do not like leaving her until she is fast asleep. So um, I just wanted to come to you guys again with a little bit of a project share slash happy mail that I'm going to send off. Um, I have been inspired by so many people on YouTube, um, but one of them is Tamika from Scrap the World. Um, you should all go check out her channel. She has amazing tutorials and she is such a great crafter. Um, I have been meaning to send her some happy mail just, you know, as a act of gratitude, just a random act of kindness, just to say thank you for everything that she does. You know, we do not get paid to put YouTube channels, uh, or not YouTube channels, YouTube uh, videos up. Um, we do it because we love it, and we love what we do, and we love sharing it. And she does such amazing work, and she shares everything that she does. Um, so I've gotten so many ideas from her channel, from her, so many inspirations. And I wanted to just send a little something to her on her way over just to say thank you so that way she knows that she is appreciated out there i'm pretty sure she knows this already but still just a little something for me to her um so let me go ahead and show you what i went ahead and made her um i did make a couple of embellishments and the first thing i made her were some altered hearts again i got this idea from her channel i've done these before i even have a tutorial of how i made them um but i did link her channel below to, so that way everybody can go check her out so it's just the altered heart. I whitewashed it with some um, antique white paint. I added some prima flowers and poppies and I added some trim with the words um, that I got from Michaels. So I made her two of those. The other thing that I also made her were some bottle, whoop, going away from me, some bottle cap embellishments. Same thing, paper, um, one inch punch with their acrylic dot, two poppy flowers from Paper Studio, and the word embellishments as well. Next thing I made her were some altered dominoes. Again, beautiful paper. I think this is Prima. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it's this paper line right here is what I used for most of her stuff. Romantic Novel by Prima. Um, this is the paper and then I added some flowers. I think I bought these at Walmart. So I got her some of those. Next thing I made her are some more altered hearts, except these are not on clothespins. They're just, you know, plain flat. She can put them on an album, on Happy Mail, whatever she wants to use them for. Um, again, beautiful Prima flowers. I love this, these, these. Um, I got these at Hobby Lobby, by the way. Um, some trims, some pearls and the word element here. And I also whitewashed the paper from the same paper line from Prima paper line. I love the way this color scheme came out. This is my colors, guys. This is my style. And I absolutely love, love, love the way it came out. Now I did change, okay, one more thing that I used with the romantic novel paper line. Some altered clothespins, same flowers by Prima. And I, the flower back in the back is also Prima. And I put a little bling piece in the corner I hope you can see with the glare of the light. Now I did switch it up a little bit with paper lines. I used the Authentiques Metal Collection. I made a mini album and I did have a lot of material left over. So what I did is I made some embellishments, <coughs> excuse me, and something altered so that way she can put the embellishments in. Uh, but I didn't want to put them in there. I was afraid that they would knock things around inside them. So these are just paper embellishments that I created using just my cutter and a couple of punches that I have. Here is a tag that has a little pocket, a file pocket, and I slipped in some tags in there. Let me see if I can pull this out. I don't want to... I'm not going to pull them off of the cardboard, but this is a tag inside here. This is a little pocket where these two little you know, ticket stubs go in from the paper collection. Here's a little circle banner embellishment and this one right here with a little heart and circle popped up on a dimensional dot. I'm not gonna put it back in just yet. This is another tag, I guess you could say. It says together in a gold foil award. And again, a circle punch with the heart punch and then this I just cut out. Put it together, super cute. I made her also a um, photo frame 
and I did back it up with the same cardstock that I use in the packaging, some craft cardstock from Paper Studio. I had cut this out, fussy cut it, and put it on a dimensional dot, and made some ban a cluster of banners here. And then this right here is a little pocket. Let me take these out also. Oh, it's a little pocket that holds two mini tags. Come on. Okay, so here is the photo frame, and this is a little pocket that holds two mini tags. And the mini tags have the same thing, punches with the word in the back. Here's some little heart. Super cute. They are on like some form of light chipboard, so they're very sturdy. I really, really hope she likes this. And what this goes with is an altered mason jar that I created. And that way this mason jar can hold whatever she wants, pens, tools, embellishments, buttons, anything else. And here is my mason jar. So I, what I did is I glued some burlap material to the, you know, the around the mason jar itself. I added some pearl trim to the middle of it. I, this is a sticker from the Paper Studio collection. I backed that off into some pink cardstock. I got these flowers from Francis from Your Book of Memories, um, and I thought it went real pretty with the collection. So I went ahead and adhered that to there. I did cover the top part of the mason jar with some lace that I folded in half and on top of that I put a ribbon so that way it can have a bow and then these two are flowers that I had in my stash. I also added two tags using the Authentiques Metal Collection paper and the top has another flower with paper on the little circle, uh, metal circle and um, some gold and white um, rope and yes guys it does open so she can go ahead and stick whatever she wants inside the jar and she will be good to go super cute I thought this was a really cute and neat idea I'm pretty sure it's been done I'm not the first one to do it but I thought of this on my own I didn't really look at any channels or any videos or anything like that so the, yeah there is that and no I am not done <laughs> I have one more thing that I'm going to be giving her, but I'm going to set all this aside. Um, this other item that I'm going to be gifting to her and sending to her is kind of, is it's very special. I know she had shared on her channel that her daughter's going through some issues, some medical issues, and she was going through a surgery, and everybody's been sending their love, and that is great. I It's perfect. That's what, you know, okay, what she needs. Um, but also as a mom, I think it's important for us to document how we're doing and how we're feeling. And, and so that way we can keep track of what's going on and express our emotions in one, some way, form or fashion, because having, um, medical issues in the family, it can get very taxing on a person. Trust me. I know I've been there. Um, so I kind of figured that. Um, I know she shared that she had made um, her daughter a little, tra like a travel notebook or something so that way she can jot down everything that's going on since so she's going to be home for about two months. Um, but I went ahead and I made the something for Tamika herself so that way she can go ahead and do the same thing for herself. And I did share this already on one of my videos. I told you that it was going out to a very special person and this is who it's going out to. Um, this is my little mini album slash flip book um, thing. And it says Our Story. And the reason why I put Our Story on there was because this was meant for her to document and write down things that were going on with her and her daughter while they were both staying at home together. Um, there's going to be good days. There's going to be bad days, frustrating days, happy days, whatever the case might be. This is meant for them to document or for her to document things that are going on with them and that this is their story um that's why i put our story on there um and i went ahead and i i did already show this on a video i'm going to do a really quick flip flip through so that way those of you who have not seen it can see it but go ahead and check that video out as well i'll link it down below um but all it is is a flip book that has many different tags where she can add pictures of them, you know, at home doing whatever it is that they're doing, and then she can go ahead and journal in and document 
you know, feelings, emotions, whatever the case might be. And I thought this was like the perfect collection for her. I know she's a shabby chic type of person and this is a little bit shabby vintage. Um, so I really hope she does enjoy it. Um, but the, I guess mainly it's because of the documenting, the, the fact that she is going to be home with her daughter for about two months while she recovers. And I think it's the perfect opportunity for her to write down, you know, what's going on and how things are and what she's feeling and how Kayla's, her little daughter is doing and stuff. Um, the main reason why is because I went through that. I personally, I have had four knee surgeries. I'm only 36. I've had four, four knee surgeries because I played basketball in high school. And when I heard what was going on with her daughter, it really hit home because I mean, I don't, I don't have the same issues that she did, but I did go through surgeries because of an injury, um, that had me, um, it prevented me from doing something that I wanted to do. For example, um, with her, she did share on her video that, you know, because of what this is, you know, now her little girl is not being, going to be able to participate in stuff that she wants to do, stuff that she has been doing. So it, it is very, very hard on a person when they're told that they can't do something that they love. And it really hit home when I heard that on her channel so I wanted to make sure that she would be able to keep all her thoughts down as well and I did make um, her little girl a separate little package that I'm going to share with you again I feel for her I don't know exactly what she's going through because I don't have the same condition but like I said I I play basketball my senior year I mean my senior year I play basketball forever um, but my senior year I did have a scholarship going for me um, to a certain university um, they had been watching me for about a year and I tore and my ACL and I broke my right knee after that you know the college dropped me and I didn't get into any college with, with a basketball scholarship I got into college of course um, but now with the basketball scholarship so my senior year was the last time I've ever played because I can't really play basketball the way I used to anymore and that surgery led to another one which led to another one so at the end I ended up with four surgeries on both knees because of it and because of those surgeries I wasn't able to do something that I loved and I know I went through very very hard time and I wish there was somebody some way I would have been able to document stuff and write things down and I did but there wasn't back then there wasn't really anything that I could put together or something cute and nice um so it really hit home you know it it it, it really touched me when I heard her story and I couldn't help but just think of her little girl and how she was going to be at home so i i did all i was already doing all this beforehand before i saw the video um when i saw the video i thought of it and that's when i created the album for for tamika um but i did make some stuff for her daughter and i'm going to share that with you really quick Oops. um first thing i made her i know she said that she was not going to be going to school um, for a while that she might be at home so I don't know if she's gonna get homeschooled or what but I did make her an altered composition book so that way she can keep her notes or whatever she's studying it says you are meant for greatness and yes I believe um, Kyla that you are meant for greatness you are such a lovely little girl I've seen you when you're on your mom's channel and um, I just can't stop watching she she's such a loving little girl and um, I just want to make sure that she understands that she, no matter what, she is meant to do great things, regardless of it wasn't what was in what she had planned for. You know, she's meant to do great things. She is, she's a great person. So I, I know she loves glitter and unicorns and mermaids and all that stuff. So I didn't find a unicorn paper, but I did find a lot of stuff with glitter and flowers. So the inside has a pocket. I did put some stickers in there for her. And here's the first tab that has a pocket. There's a section of the composition book, another page with a pocket, and this is the back of the composition book with another pocket, and here is the back. Super simple but cute just so that way she can keep notes while she's at school or even at home if she's doing homeschooling for the two months that she's at home. The other thing that I also got for her was this um, little student planner. Uh, now Tamika has a tutorial for this. This was not my idea in the least, um, but I did. It, it is a different type of planner um, that is at the Dollar Tree. This is an actual student planner. It starts in the month of July, so it's perfect. But I went ahead and I added a little 
altered binder clip that I made and I attached this cute little rose gold Converse shoe which I thought was adorable. Um, I closed, I'm using this as a pen holder which is just a headband from the Dollar Tree. Here's a pen and I also created a little paper clip from the collection and here is the inside. I did laminate the cover just like Tamika did and I did put a little clear pocket here with some laminated uh, flags that she can make paper clips for her or whatnot or markers and yeah it starts I believe it starts in July yeah it starts in July and runs all the way to December of 2019 so it's about an 18 month planner. So I thought this was really cute so that way she can have it home and, you know, put plans together as far as what she's going to do, what she needs to do, and so forth. Um, so yeah, this is another thing that I made for her daughter. Let me go ahead and wrap this around. And all this I got from the Dollar Tree, y'all, just like Tamika had. So there is her planner, and I try to coordinate the paper as you can see, it goes together. Oops, I forgot her paper clip. Now the next thing I did make is I brought, I put together something for her to make for herself. Um, I, am, I am including some envelopes. I think it's like 12 envelopes and 12 cards. And then a lot of six by six papers from a collection that I had in, in my stash. Um, super cute, fun colors. Just, you know, it reminded me of her personality. Very bright, very vibrant. And, you know, if she has time on her hands, why not craft? And I know, I know she loves doing it because she, she's always with her mom. So she can make herself a little flip book to keep everything that she's been doing, you know, documented and, and stuff like that, or have her mom make her one. I don't know. It just, it's just something to brighten her day whenever she might be feeling down or frustrated. You know, I wish I had this when I was growing up and I had, you know, my surgeries. So I just kind of try to think of it from that perspective. And the last thing I got for her was this cute little unicorn uh, lip gloss super cute so I really really hope oh wait there's one more thing that's true um, I have been looking at these boxes this is a box that holds bubble gum well not bubble gum but gum these gums right here the Wrigley's like experiment and all that stuff these little cases are so sturdy I hate throwing them away and I was like what can I do with them what can I do with them and I finally thought you know what these are perfect to hold stickers and little cards you know or ephemera from a, a um, collection so what I did is I included stickers and some cards in here that she can use along with her flip book and all I did is I let me take this stuff out inside all I did is I put the paper line inside with some double-sided tape so it wouldn't move and I had um, hot glued some prima flowers and the sticker there that says love this life that was a perfect message and on the inside I have a bunch of little two by four cards that she can use in her flip book cut apart so that I cut out for her and some stickers it says make each day unforgettable choose happy live and love and let your light shine every day i thought they were cute little message stickers you know for her oh, come on get in there and yeah so as of now i would suggest you guys not throw these away if you get them when you go buy gum for sure this is the only pack of gum i'm gonna buy now because i love this I, th I think this is a perfect little gift to give to a friend pen pal a co-worker or something so yeah don't throw these away guys and again i tried coordinating the colors of the paper as much as i could so this is something i went ahead and made for her daughter i really hope she enjoys it i hope tamika enjoys what i sent her again i have so much love for this woman it is amazing what she does on her channel and so much inspiration that i get if you all haven't checked her out please go do so her channel is called scrap the world da world and i'll go ahead and link her channel down below in the description box um so i really hope you enjoyed this um video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel as always y'all live passionately about what you do love uh, craft as often as you can and love endlessly we'll see you all next time and thanks for tuning in bye big hugs